أفلح ما صلى على محمد وآل محمد. صلى الله عليه وسلم محمد وآل محمد. رحم الله أمراضنا وأمراض الجميع وأمراضنا وأمراضنا وأمراض الشهداء ورحم الله ختام الأمر الحسين نهدي للجميع ثواب صورة المباركة الفاتحة تسبقها الصلاة على محمد وآل محمد اللهم صلي على محمد وآل محمد أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين خاتم النبيين وعلى آله الطيبين الطاهرين أما بعد السلام عليكم يا شيخنا وعزيزنا الإمام خاتم ورحمة الله وبركاته First and foremost, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of you and your families, your near ones and your dear ones for participating in this walk. For Arbaeen, for Abba Abdullah al Hussein, all of you, young and old, all of you those who are having difficulty and those who are having ease, may Allah reward each and every one of you from all the treasures of Hazrat Fatima Zahra. The day of Arbaeen. Marks 40 days after the Shahada of Abdullah. As I was walking, my dear sisters and brothers, we have youngsters with us, we have children with us, we have ladies with us, we have gents and elders with us. The one thought that has been going in my mind, and I have taken Sheikh's permission to sing a few words now before we get there, is that at least we are walking comfortably. We were given water, we were given juice. We are made sure that we are comfortable and we are standing in the shade. Our salams on those who are the Asiran of Karbala, who were made to walk with chains on their legs, with handcuffs and ropes tied on their hands. The children were suffering. All those near and dear to Abba Abdullah were made to suffer. At least we have got to ease. And that is why we consider it a responsibility to stand up for the message of Abba Abdullah, to speak out against, against injustice, against tyranny, to make sure we act against whatever zalim, oppression, and tyrant is in front of us. Regardless of what era we are in, regardless of what place we are in, whether we are in Windsor in Toronto, whether in London or Tokyo, whether we are in Najaf or Karbala, our job is to stand up for the message of Abba Abdullah and to stand up as these signs and symbols are saying, as our children are holding the placards saying that Imam Hussein was an embodiment of truth, justice, integrity, honor, and to rise against the wrong wherever they are. That's why Imam Jafar ibn Muhammad al-Sadiq alayhi salatu wa salam has been quoted as saying that for a true believer every day will be their Ashura every day will be their Karbala in every era there will be a Yazid and in every era we have to become the Hussein and Zainab my sisters May Allah bless you and reward you. Wassalamu alaikum. Jamia wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.